بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دی پریویس ویڈیو آئی ہیو ڈسکرائب دا ریپ آف دی لاگ ایز اے سوشل اسٹائل اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ سم موک ایلیمنٹس ان دیٹ بیوٹیفل پوم ویٹ از ریٹن بائی الیگزینڈر پوپ فسٹ آف آل وی ول ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی میننگ آف موک ایپک and how it is different uh, from real epic and how mook epic is parodized uh, with real epic so the mook actually means to make fun to laugh or to tease and uh, and mook epic here means to parodize uh, epic Epic is a long narrative poem in elevated style. It describes the adventure of superhuman heroes focus on bars. But the mock epic is the short form, the distance or we can say uh, the story of epic covers in a years but the rape of log which is written in the form of mock epic it uh, covers the story uh, only in hours the gods of the epics are stupendous creature but uh, the pope sleeps is tiny in fact In fact, we can say the mock epic is a poetic form which uses epic structure but on a minor scale, on a small scale and having a very common and very, um, we can say, unimportant subject. Its purpose is only to make fun, to uh, satirize something or to make something ridiculous so the rape of flock the most suitable um, uh, mock epic to satirize the english society of pope's age the action of the rape of the lock uh, turns on a very minor incident the cutting of a lock of a hair from a lady's head but in the real epic the action is grand that involves the destiny of whole mankind in the real epic theme is serious and dignified but here theme is unimportant we can say very short um, thing is great here like epics pope here introduces the supernatural machinery in the form of gnomes and sylphs and number of episodes like the games of ombre account of battles and single combat journey to the underground world threats of punishment to be inflicted by the chief of the supernatural on his followers and even parallel to the particular epic scene the character placed in this epic from cut farm cut a sorry figure and all their action look very ridiculous so let's try to find some similarities between uh, this mock epic and real epic and uh, uh, how he has uh, parodized the real epic uh, uh, the most of the part of that epic mock epic is parodized uh, john milton's paradise lost there are numerous examples having resemblance with paradise lost the most crucial 
and the most important parallel scene which occurs in that book just before the cutting of the log when ariel discovers the secret longing of the beautiful belinda he finds an earthly lover lurking in belinda's heart sudden he viewed in spite of all her art an earthly man an earthly lover lurking at her heart amazed confused he found his part expired resigned to fate and with sigh retired jab jo hai ek ariel jo hai discover karta hai ki ek earthly man jo hai um, he is lurking at the heart of belinda to wo apni duty se resign de deta hai this is quite uh, parallel to the Mm, paradise lost the moment uh, when adam and eve fall the angels retire to their heavenly abode feeling sorry for them the card game is a mock battle a symbolical war between the sexes then we see another resemblance or another parallel element in that mock epic uh, especially as usual paradise lost dream of pride told in blinda's ear is parallel to the dream introduced in eve's ear in paradise lost book 5 and 6 blinda's embellishment at dressing table is parallel to the eve's admiration of herself as a mirror in the pool of eden in book 4 of paradise lost the theme of the poem is suggested in the invocation as in the epic poem but the theme is ridiculously trivial in comparison with the great theme of an epic the action opens in a more more heroic manner with the awakening of belinda the heroine of the poem belinda is the very goddess of beauty and the luster of her eyes surpasses that of the sun who peeped through the veil white curtain in belinda's room the whole structure of the poem in the epic mold but it could not be a serious epic because the incident is very minor the poem is divided into cantos like an epic poem and there is an ironical parallel to the main incident of the epic the poem begins with an invocation in epic tradition so as in epic in the rape of log 2 divine beings are portrayed Belinda is in the divine care of the sylphs fairest of mortal thou distinguished care of thousand bright inhabitants of air but then the sylphs are fragile and they are helpless despite all their concern for belinda her beautiful lock of hair is draped by the naughty baron there is the mischievous gnomes who like milton satan is intent upon making belinda's miserable and thereby all her admirers the gnomes addresses the wayward queen who rules the sex from 15 to 50 the epic always uses the supernatural elements in the elite there are god and goddess in the rape of the log there are the sylphs and gnomes their action uh, or their spirits are small and insignificant so they actually maintain the very minor theme of this mock epic they guard the personality of the heroine and where there is a fight between the followers of belinda and those of the baron 
they take part in the fight like the gods and goddesses in the third uh, trojan war so uh, an epic poem must contain some episode uh, here pop also introduce the episodes of the games of omber which is described in great detail there is also the hazardous journey of umbriel to the cave of spleen then there is a battle between the lords and ladies just like the battle in the epic poetry but in the true more heroic style the battle is fought with fans and snuff instead of with swords and spears so we can say the the poem bears out amply how pope had succeeded in realizing his mock heroic design in which the little maid great and the great little this epic framework contains a mock heroic portrait and the whole work is an entertainment belinda toilets is another engaging account in which pope has attributed in a perfectly mock heroic manner the solemnity of a religious observance the luxurious style of lady of fashion and frivolity puff powder patches bible billiard talks are all brought on the same table so drape of lock is a rare instance in which the slight theme is given and exalted treatment for satirical purpose all through the poem most importance is given to all that is unimportant and insignificant and particularly the meaning uh, is unclear and farcical the very conception of writing an epic on the rape of lock of hair is funny and we can say the title great and the great little has lit observes no pains are spared no profusion or ornament splendor of poetic diction to set off the meanest things in order to make the little and the insignificant looks more ridiculous he implies the mock heroic form not to mock the epic form but to show the triviality of mean things by contrasting them with great things this is a true mock heroic style these are the few points which i have discussed about uh, mock heroic epic uh, hope you would like it allah hafiz